So we had a nice night's rest after that Welsh gig, which yeah, I did enjoy that. It was a good experience. It was good having um, Joss on guitar as well. It, it added a little bit more variety to our set, which we're going to be doing again tonight. Tonight we're heading from Gloucester up to Blackburn. Loading up the yellow van With second-hand antiques Broken washing machine And the fridge that leaks Lean on a sofa Sunday racing on Roast has not settled But the taste is gone Small child in the front seat Watching his ambitious day That's when he would say to me Next year I'll be a millionaire Small child in the front seat Watching his ambitious day That's when he would say to me Um, bit of a change of plan. We saw the weather wouldn't affect us, but it has actually worked in our favour. There was two other bands scheduled to play alongside myself tonight. Um, they both pulled out because of the weather, which means Marcus and Joss both got to do sets now in Blackburn. So pretty much um, as Trev summed it up, we've taken over the live lounge here in Blackburn. I'm really looking forward to this one. Got some friends coming along. So yeah, um, last time I was here, really enjoyed it. So hopefully another good night as on the second last night of the tour. Mm -hmm. I am Corey, it's one of Steve's old friends, and I am going to be filming and recording this gig tonight here at lovely, lovely Blackburn. And uh, we're going to have some fun. We're going to have some fun, aren't we, Steve? Mr. Cameraman. We're going to have some fun. Let's do this. Let's do this. But we've got to eat first. We've got to eat. Always have to eat. That's what we need to do next. This is now an exclusive look at the backstage area of the live lounge. Getting ready to go on. It's going to be a late one, um, which isn't ideal because we've got Newcastle tomorrow and got about an hour and 20 minutes to get back to the hotel. We're not going to finish the work on midnight, but that's two hours to the second last night. Who cares? I'm tired. We've got three days of recovery time after tomorrow. This is the backstage area we've got where, where we, um, we've got our stuff stored and come out on the stage. Enjoy. Yeah, all ready for tonight. There's tonight's attire, my new suit that I've got recently. And that's the magic door of the stage, just behind there. It's like something from a horror movie, really, isn't it? We just did our gig in Blackburn. What a lovely place. It's a bit... It's a bit, uh... It was a bit weird, because, uh... I was in a nightclub. I've never done a gig in a nightclub before. And, uh, yeah, oh, please. Um, but yeah. Yeah, no, uh, the, the people seem to be listening but not listening at the same time. So, I guess that's an alright thing. But hopefully tomorrow, hopefully tomorrow people will be a bit more quiet and, uh, we can chill out, get some audience participation. Participation all up in you. But yeah. Yeah. Yeah, hello. Marcus the drunkard. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> what a crackhead! I'm only having one I'm only having one drink tonight. <laughs> I don't you, know what you... the fuck happened there. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty that. much. Yeah. That on this bottle, yeah. Where are we going now? Uh, Lancaster. Yeah, but where are we going to eat? Lancaster. But where are in Lancaster? The services. services. What services? The ones where we're staying. Where are we staying? At the services. At the services where? Travel lodge. Which travel lodge? Lancaster. <laughs> To eat. <laughs> Some of the city's side, huh? <laughs> Whatever we can get. 
in the end we were unsuccessful in finding something to eat so it was ginster pasties and pringles and some m&ms all around and then it was off to bed in the travel lodge in lancaster ready for a new day and heading to newcastle bit of a silent trip on the way there that was mainly due to um you know it was the end of the tour and we are a bit of a sombre mood, so to speak, as we watched the snowy sceneries heading through Carlisle on the way to my homeland in the northeast. staying tonight after the gig and going home to rest for three days well not home home but you know um, and now I got here and it's a bit of a mess I've seen the picture of the place itself so I knew what to expect sort of size wise and stuff like that it is quite a unique building lovely set and great acoustics but it is a mess and <laughs> I wasn't expecting it top it's a filthy and everything so now I've got about two hours of waiting here because there's no key so someone's got to be here constantly um, and I'm now going to give this place a makeover and have it ready for tonight, for the gig. It's a bit like um, changing rooms really. I'm going to have to do a 60 minute makeover. We'll come back and have a look at what my work produced. Wish me luck. So you see, upon entering the door, this is the site you see. Bit of rubbish in the corner there. Ignore that. But, oh, yes please, buy some CDs. Help a poor man out. You've got the seats all facing forward, which means people pay attention to the music. And then you've got the front there. Some nice heaters, the guitars, music stand. Yeah, let's see the I think it'd be a good view. This is this is the back row. Out of four rows. So that's a nice view there. Although you'd have to remind that people's heads will be um, in the way. But yeah, apart from that, I think they've done a pretty good job. Roll on tonight. Do you know where Stan Street is? Chinatown. It's actually, it's the, the city wall runs behind Chinatown. There's a little alley behind Chinatown and it leads along. And you'll see a stairway to the town.
flash car Take on your holiday in your hospital I'm pleased to say that the Newcastle gig really did meet expectations. Really, really good turnout. Um, the tickets in pre-sale did sell up to 30, which is what we were allocated. There was a, about three or four people who didn't come, um, but the point is it was still a sold out show and it was a packed house. A lot of people there, absolutely brilliant. Um, great atmosphere. So I drew a picture um, <laughs> of John Wilson. He doesn't look very happy because what the idea was, he was um, he, could, he thought he could fly, but when he's jumped off the tower block, he's realised he can't fly, which is what explains the face. Um, so hopefully that Paul is going to appreciate this um, when he gets back. This next song is off. Is a slow song from the new. It's not a true song. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great one. This is building. I'm not getting a reputation for you. It goes around destroying things. Performing in your hometown in front of not just family but people um, who are strangers, people who have followed my music since the start. It was just an absolute honour to do it in front of um, so many familiar faces. Newcastle was really emotional for me. Not just was it the end of the tour, it was really sad to be coming to an end and all that kind of stuff. But to see so many people that I know there in the audience, sold out show with pre-tickets, absolutely packed in such a small venue, really intimate setting, went so well. My favourite gig, we, we did really did leave the best till last. You know it's a good gig when people shout more. Oh! Oh! Come on and done an encore and that was the first time that's happened on the whole tour so it really was the best to last and a really enjoyable and 
emotional life for me. Absolutely fantastic. Everyone's going on. Stephen, you have got a very good voice. And I'll tell you one thing, I really enjoyed my night tonight. And it was Kush. Oh, it was a great, great. Hey, you should come here more often. Yes, I had a brilliant night, thank you. Good night out, it was. <laughs> Sad that it's all over. I want to do it again to sum it up. Best experience of my life. Loved every minute.